Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And today we're going to answer another question of one of the members in the group. And that is how can we have a form on the page here where it is going to be collecting somebody's email address and a button. And what they wanted to be able to do was to be able to save that contact information, submit the form, but then not go to another page. In fact, what they wanted to do was to be able to hide what you're seeing on the screen and then show another section on the page or show any other information. Basically, you can hide anything you want and then show anything you want. And of course, we all know that in a button, you have the ability to hide and show stuff. When you click on a button, you can hide some stuff and you can show, show some stuff. You can also submit a form on or submit the form on the page at that point and save the email, name, whatever information to the contact database inside of ClickFunnels. And then of course we can also have it so that when you click on a button, you go to another page. Well, what we wanna do is basically kind of a combination of all those things, which is we want to be able to save the contacts information and we want to be able to use the functionality of going to another page, but instead of going there, we need to actually kill that functionality, leave it on this page, and then show another section. So let me just show you real quickly here what this looks like in real life. It's pretty simple, as I had said. So here we got a test email address in here, 1420. Just remember that because we'll see that pop up in the contact database. And all we're going to do is we're going to click on this button here and it hid what was on the page. It hid that section on the page. And now it's showing this other section that's on the page. So let's come back over here to the contact database. Let us reload this page, and here we go. We got Dan Test 2, 13, 14, 20. So it saved the page, saved the person's information into the contact database, and then it stayed on the exact same page, did not go anywhere, page did not load, and it did then swap out those two sections. So let's take a look at how we set this up. And the uh, code on this is very simple. No CSS, of course, but we need just a smidge of JavaScript. And all we're saying here is when somebody clicks on that button that we want to do a couple things. Well, let's uh, click on this button and let's just look at the code. So we see here now that I just put in a... Uh, CSS ID selector in here and I'm using that on this one because it's such a simple little form I didn't really want to play around with anything else I just figured I'd use an ID on this so I grab the ID here so we say when you click on the ID for that button right there we want to run this function and this function does two things it shows the section with this ID and it hides the section with that ID. So if we come in here again, we can look at the ID here for the first section here. So we're going to hide the one that ends in eight. And then of course we have the second section on the page which is currently hidden. So we will show that, we will come into that section. We will look at the code again, open up the footer code, ends in 151, ends in 151, and we show it. Okay, now that is pretty much all there is to it, except for one very important thing, and this is what makes this possible, is you have to come into the button, and you're gonna leave the button set as submit order form, because it has to be set to submit in order to be able to save that to the contact database. And then the normal functionality would be if you just did it to submit and you did not say enable redirect override, it would go to the next funnel step. So it's gonna to go to another page or you can put a URL in here, check the box, put in a URL and tell it to go somewhere else other than the next step in the funnel. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill that functionality by putting in here what it says here is probably pretty small. Maybe I can uh, blow this up a little bit here. Let me see here. Can I make that a little bit bigger? So this is all you have to do is put in there JavaScript colon void and then in parentheses the number zero. So JavaScript void zero. If you put that in there, that will essentially kill this button's functionality. So in the code itself, and in fact, why don't we just take a look at that? We should be able to see that. Let me reload the page. The href on this button then will actually be that JavaScript. So let me 
do a couple of things here. Let me kill off that. And then we'll come up here. And here it is right here. Um, so we got our JavaScript zero void right there. And then, um, so actually I was wrong on this here. So the href is actually the submit form. And then it says here, data on submit, go to, and then right over here it says, uh, JavaScript void zero right there. And in the element above it, you have the same thing. Uh, data param on submit go to is where the JavaScript uh, zero, uh, or JavaScript void zero goes right there. So it gets put into two places here. It's not actually the actual href. I think actually in two point, I mean one point oh, it would have actually made it the href, but they built it a slightly different here into two point oh, and but that's that's the whole point there. That's what kills it from going to the next page, but all the rest of the functionality still works. So hopefully that made some sense. And if you got any questions, just let me know.